we've been knowing trash can yen is selfish throw rocks and hide her hands and then play the victim don't you remember that's why um that's why she was gonna get drugged to the ground like Kim Bella season one for playing around <laughs> for playing around yandy always been problematic always been super problematic so i don't know child and they said allegedly mendici's got a mistress out here mendici's you got a cold star in Atlanta? why you ain't calling me no <laughs> no i'm just fucking with y'all i'm just fucking with y'all exactly so welcome back pool exactly i'm not even on my lunch break child well, I'm on my alleged lunch break, but I got to cut it short because I got something new. The more little story is, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Love Hip Hop Atlanta, child. Um, it's going to be real quick because the highlights of this episode was Zell and his new baby mama, uh, Kirk and Rashida. And at this point, I don't give a damn if Jasmine was cooking breakfast naked in a... <laughs> and Rashida kitchen like uh old boy off a of baby boy at this point because Rashida ain't gonna do shit. Rashida ain't gonna do shit, but let them bags get heavier underneath her damn eyes and let Erica Dixon be her damn side chick. I guess child, but we still gonna talk about it. Um, so at the beginning of the episode, they had little man Yandy and Mendeecee. I'm gonna have to do Yandy and Mendeecees is at um, Lil Mendeecees graduation and Mendeecees is talking about how Lil Mendeecees been through a lot and how he want him to go to college then the conversation moves Yandy like are we okay and Mendeecees looking like <laughs> like bitch don't ask me this question on camera ho you know we is not okay if that man ain't wearing his ring Yandy are y'all having sex why would you ask him that on camera? I guess, y'all. Anyway, so he was like, um, no, we not okay. Apparently, Yandy still went to, skipped her happy ass to LA to give her sister her eggs. And she was like, I was in a rock, between a rock and a hard place. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> your husband said he didn't want you giving your eggs to your sister. So that, to me, a lot of shit as a matter, speaking of talking a lot of shit make sure y'all subscribe and like this video girl <laughs> i talk a lot of shit but i respect my man before i wanted to um knock my ex-husband head off i respected him <laughs> and i think that yandy should have respected mendici's wishes last season when he said no don't give her your eggs your sister bald-headed ass should have went somewhere else to find some eggs she should have been peddling through sperm banks <laughs> like Phaedra said to find her some damn eggs but you gave her your eggs and you might not you will are y'all let me ask y'all because I know how we always say that our husband's supposed to come first but a lot of women do put their family first so if your sister needed your eggs but your husband said no no bitch it better be a dozen of eggs in that fucking uterus when I come back to tap it <laughs> and he come back to tap your uterus and he find out you got 11 eggs and you still gave one of your eggs to your sister. I don't, I don't blame Mendeecees. I blame uh, Yandy for thinking, oh, well, he ain't going to do nothing. Da, da, da. No. Exactly. He basically was saying, you make too many decisions on your own and you don't pay attention to me. This man was literally saying this last season. When I remember it was a scene where he sat down and explained it to her. And then at the end of the scene, she was like, you got to tell me exactly what you need. Bitch, he just told your motherfucking ass he wants you to be at the house doing some shit and actually paying attention to him and the kids. Instead of trying to run for the mayor and uh, best sidekick in Atlanta. Trying to be with the in crowd and the it girls. I, Yandy gives me I do everything for show. I never could get with Yandy. I never fucked with Yandy walking or running. She's always been problematic, but I guess. So then we get to Zell and Bambi they are where was they at oh they was getting some grills made and this was a cute scene for them i didn't know i know zell bambi and erica mena they got in trouble that night that they was at the club but i didn't know zell and bambi was this close basically zell's like hey i've been a high boy i got mad niggas i got mad bitches did y'all see that zell got arrested the other day <laughs> On, on Instagram, Zell was in the back of a police car 
and he posted he posted him in handcuffs in the back of the police car and was like somebody come bail me out and then a whole bunch of people in the comments was tagging saucy like go get <laughs> he out of jail now though because um i seen his instagram i think it was yesterday and he was at the gym and working out and shit anyway so zell was telling bambi how he fucked this girl in mexico he fucked the girl in mexico the girl is late and we later we find out the girl pregnant he said that and bambi like you still fucking dudes you done went from saucy santana that big ass boonchy cat to a little <laughs> <laughs> a little vagina <laughs> like you still like vagina exactly you'll be surprised how many gay dudes still like vagina but i digress so this is what stuck out to me so zell was like he don't like labels he like what he like he just freaked out the frame he freaked out the motherfucking frame sometimes he likes some bunchy cat sometimes he like to juggle a few balls and the other times you know he like boobies and vagina and that's all good and well but the fact that he didn't tell this girl explicitly that he messed with dudes and he had unprotected sex with her y'all ain't scared of diseases that's what, like did y'all go through health class remember in health class when they show i don't know but the high school that i went to we went through health class and they showed us pictures of like a penis and a vagina after it was uh, infected with like chlamydia, trick. Is trichinoma still around? <laughs> I ain't heard nobody say, girl, I got that trick. You got that trichinoma, girl? I don't know. <laughs> Drop down in the comments and tell me what was the last STD you had. I won't judge you, girl. Your best friend. <laughs> no, seriously, though. No. But in health class, they showed us the pictures. Remember, like, the penis looked like a cauliflower and the stuff? So I'm like, did they stop at some generation showing people this shit? And I don't know. And so Zell, he, they did talk about the diseases. And he said he went and got checked and he felt bad. You know what I'm saying? Which... I'm sure a lot of people have been, I ain't gonna say we all, cause I ain't never been on vacation and got that drunk where I wanted to have some unprotected sex with a man. Not, not especially not a man that uh, look like he fucks with the likes of uh, Saucy Santana. <laughs> so maybe some of y'all hoes, but not me, bitch. <laughs> not me, bitch. Don't group me with y'all hoes. But anyway, so I'm thinking like, girl what the fuck was you drinking where you was having unprotected sex with zell in mexico if that was the case you should have just started scissoring <laughs> like you should i think the alternative you should have just scissored instead of doing that but i guess i get would y'all have sex with a bicep in all seriously seriousness like i seriously want to know because i know girls who are cool with this would y'all have sex with a bisexual man if he wasn't currently having sex with a guy just let let the people know and tell us how you feel about the situation or would you be a beard because i ain't gonna lie i would be a beard for the right amount of money for those who don't know what a beard is um a beard is a lady who gets with a man and he pretends like he with her but he really gay if i ain't had shit my bad i've been focusing on my career and my youtube channel i'm free for the next three to four months if you need a beard i'm available bitch <laughs> <laughs> as long as the trans the wire transfer go through i am here to beat for your beard needs bitch anyway so then um we switch back to yandy and medici's day at therapy he's talking about why he don't have his ring on yandy is not basically there for him he was like the respect needs to be restored they need to focus on their relationship first and he feels like yandy is too focused on flying this place, being an entrepreneur, being in front of the cameras, being in the in crowd with the girlies. And he like, bitch, pay attention to your husband. And she, he, he not putting his ring back on until you show him something different, bitch. So then, this is what killed me. And Yandy was crying while she was reading the letter. <laughs> while Yandy like, and I just want to let you know that I love you, Mandisi. Mandisi was looking like, you fake ass bitch <laughs> he was looking like you fake ass bitch this is the fake shit i'm talking about so then she get in the corner and was like 
I don't know why I always got to be portrayed as the bad girl. Da, da, da. Man, DC was like, no, you can't throw a rock and hide your hands and always play the victim. He was like, and I don't want to do this shit for social media and stuff. My whole thing is, man, DC, this on you, ho. This is on you, ho, because Yandy has been this same girl since we first met her on Love and Hip Hop New York. She has been that same girl. I'm sorry. That's why nobody liked her. That's why his baby mamas didn't like her. And then at the beginning of the episode, she gonna say her and uh, Samantha, Mendici's mama, oh, we went through a long uh, years of stuff. Uh, yeah, bitch, because you had your sister jump her at the reunion and then lied about it. And then you had Kimbella come to her baby's birthday party like she wanted to fight her to start some shit and lie to her face about it. No wonder they always called you a liar. And then you sitting there like, I don't know why his baby mama's against me. Yandy has always been a fake ass bitch in my eyes. I'm sorry. She may be successful. She may have done, she may have did a lot in her life, but to me, she been a fake gray eyed bitch. I'm sorry. And I said I wasn't gonna call a bitch out of their names, but bitch, you a fake ass bitch. Anyway, so do y'all think Mendeecees or Yandy is wrong in the situation? Low key, if I was Yandy, I would have, I don't give a, now Mendeecees fine. He fine. But I would have left Mendeecees a long time ago when he said on the, on the family retreat that he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have had my back like I had his back when I held him down. Anyway, so we get to, um, we get to Diamond Baby Shower Child or Bachelorette Party. Everybody there, Erica, uh, Erica, what's that girl? I can never think of her name. Not Erica Pinky. Erica, the rapper Erica. Erica there, Carly there, Amy there, talking about fucking Bambi again. First of all, you were supposed to be Bambi and Sierra friend. The only reason you had diamond shit is because you mad at Erica. And she telling everybody who were here. And she was messing with, girl, let that, let that go, Amy. I'm so sick of Amy talking about that. Her, Amy and Jessica could go at this point. And I fucked with Amy the long way. But guess what? She could go. I'm sick of her talking about Bambi. Bambi don't give a fuck about you. She really don't. So anyway, Jasmine, our Kirk baby mama. And initially, Yandy, like, I don't want to hear nothing about her and a side chick and da 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 When Quiet is just kept, they said that you were, you were Mendeecee's side chick at first. Like, let's not, let's not overlook the fact that they said that Yandy was Mendeecee's side chick first for her to have this damn attitude. So, Carly go, Carly and Yandy goes over to Jasmine and was like, what's the tea with Kirk? We heard that you said he was trying to get with you. So, Jasmine like, yeah, you know, he said if I fuck with him, he'll give me more child support. Of, yeah, he trying to fuck with me. This bitch, this bitch is, her go Yandy. I don't want it. She rolling her eyes. I don't want to hurt none of that. And why didn't you go to, uh, why didn't you go to Rashida? She like, why the fuck her? Why would I go to her? I ain't talked to her in months. Well, you need to tell her this. You don't need to tell everybody. If she don't talk to Rashida, why the fuck would she go to Rashida with this? Rashida didn't leave him when she found out she was pregnant. So why would she tell Rashida this now? Because obviously Rashida don't give a fuck because she's stuck on stupid. And Yandy... Who the fuck is you to tell this bitch that you don't want to hear it? Yandy caught, getting all ignorant, stand up and leave. Last time I checked, Carly and Yandy, y'all came over there and asked that girl. She didn't tell, she didn't tell y'all. She didn't even put this out on, well, why would you put this on blast? Kirk is the one who was flirting with her and accused her of some shit first. Like, I usually don't go up for the side bitch and she shouldn't have had a baby by Kirk, yada, yada, yada. But we are here now. We're here now and the baby is here. Even if she expects more out of Kirk, nothing is wrong with her expecting him to be a full-time father. I don't give a fuck if he was married. He's still married. He knew he had a side baby. They don't uh, relinquish him of his obligations to be that, that baby uh, daddy, full-time daddy. Just like it, I'm with Jasmine. Just like it's Jasmine's fault, it's Kirk fault. And just like she gotta be a full-time mama to a child she had with a married man, Kirk still needs to be a full-time father to that little boy. I'm sorry. I And I don't get the women like, oh, well, he knew he had... I don't give a fuck about none of that. Rashida, 
signed up and decided to stay with him. So she and him need to make sure they're full-time parents to their child. That it, that child shouldn't be punished just because y'all made mistakes. And Yandy, first of all, y'all asked her, ho. Y'all asked her. She didn't ask y'all. She didn't come talk to y'all. Y'all went and asked her. And then for you to act like you don't want to hear this, Jasmine was like, B. So basically, Jasmine was like, girl, Yandy, fuck her and fuck him too. Fuck Rashida and <laughs> fuck her too. And she also threw, like I said, a whole bunch of shade towards uh, Yandy. Like, you need to worry about why your husband one step out the door and why he allegedly got a whole new side piece. Did you? I heard those rumors. Allegedly, they saying Mandisi's got him a little side piece out in the streets. I mean, and should Yandy shouldn't be alarmed. He telling you to your face, I'm not wearing my wedding ring because you're not doing what you're supposed to as a wife. And Yandy, if I'm you, and if you want to be so much of a businesswoman and an entrepreneur and you getting giving your eggs away, then leave Mendeecees alone. Let him expose the rest of the world to his fineness. <laughs> but I think after they done went through all of this with them kids, and their kids are so pretty too. Like, they got a beautiful family. I don't know. I mean, if, if Yandy really cared, then she'll do what it takes and stick by her man. But... I low-key don't blame Mendeecees. I, I really don't. Because he done told this lady tons of times. And she did hold him down when he was in jail and shit. But that was your decision to hold him down. He told you that he wouldn't have held you down the way you held him down. And you decided to stay with him. So, as far as I'm concerned with relationships, if you, go, if you decide to put up with something, then whatever else come after that, that's on you, Pooh. I was I was married and guess what? The moment I decided I wasn't dealing with something, it was a wrap and, and never shall we cross paths again. He ain't spelt the coochie since. <laughs> y'all better stand on business. I'm sorry. So tell me if y'all think um tell me what y'all think about the Jasmine and um the Jasmine, Kirk, and Rashida stuff. So on the next episode, we're gonna see Jasmine meet up with Kirk, Rashida, and Erica. Why the fuck is Erica there? Is is Erica? Are y'all having threesomes and what is going on? Because Erica, this ain't none of your business. Erica, if you want to be involved with a threesome, this is the threesome you should be involved in. You, them twins, and your baby father. Where is Erica, baby daddy? Why she got time to be all in Rashida them business? Bitch, get your own storyline because I heard your baby daddy is married. And I don't give a damn. Y'all, I might say this on every single review that we had this season. So, brace yourself, friend. <laughs> Until Erica show us her baby daddy <laughs> from them twins, then, bitch, your word, you have no credibility. Because all we know, your man, apparently he a big nigga, according to Scrappy. That's what Scrappy said. But is he married? Do he have a family? Bitch, you ain't got no credibility. All we know, you could be a Jasmine. All we know about Erica Dixon, she could be a Jasmine because we don't know about her baby daddy. And allegedly, he got a whole relationship and a whole family. That's why he was never around, was never on our TV screen. Because you know if he was just a regular dude, Erica would have had him on and that would have been her storyline. So what's people? Style of their business. Anyway, so Erica... Jasmine gonna meet up with them and show Rashida the text messages where Kirk ass is asking, is saying that you know if she fuck him he gonna give her some money. First of all, in the clip that we seen, why the fuck do Kirk got on the whole Gucci outfit with some big ass blue blockers and Rashida look like they that like they a matching set? Y'all look stupid as hell. <laughs> all designer ain't cute. I don't like when people wear labels from head to toe and the shit don't have no fashion sense. You just want to be seen in all of this Gucci Louis Prada. Gucci Louis Prada. Girl. <laughs> anyway. So, they gonna show Rashida the proof. And guess what? I bet my bottom dollar. I'm not betting my last week because I'm down to my last week. <laughs> I bet my bottom dollar that they find a way to blame this all on Jasmine. Jasmine is right. When she got into it with Carly, because her and Carly got into it, because they were blaming Jasmine. Why are y'all blaming Jasmine and not Kirk? Y'all blaming Jasmine for bringing out the receipts 
and oh why are you bringing this up why are you bringing this up you need to be asking your homeboy your homegirl husband why he keep trying to fuck with his side chick that already broke your homegirl rashida down had her crying on stage y'all need to be asking kirk that literally y'all letting kirk walk scot-free and y'all mad at the side bitch she free she single she raising her child he the one keep trying to fuck her girl i guess anyway so rashida still gonna be stuck on stupid she still cosplaying dumb dora because they just posted a video clip the other day where kirk was uh filming rashida getting into a pool and said that he bet her a thousand dollars that she wouldn't get in the pool so rashida took off her shirt and got in the pool topless rashida got a nice shape but that's neither here nor there like bitch so you still with him making stupid ass clips about you getting in the damn pool with your shirt off is canon there that's what we want to know is the baby there <laughs> did you give jasmine her extra uh her extra child support money or did kirk have to fuck her i mean he know he could come home to you girl i guess that's so stupid i'm over kirk and rashida she remind me of Tisha. Let them cheat in peace and do whatever they're going to do with their arranged marriage and leave us out of it, child. On the next episode, we also going to see Sierra getting into it with her mama about her sister. Apparently, I don't know if y'all... Do y'all remember like a few months ago, Sierra's sister had got on the internet and was talking about how Sierra a hoe. Sierra were all fake name brands. Uh, Sierra was getting her to get perks for her every day. Um she had an std she her sister was saying a whole bunch of shit about her and these are real sisters like they are real sisters i couldn't imagine me and my brother me and my brother didn't got into it but never on the internet never ever ever that's just we not cut from the same cloth i don't give you we could go off on each other via text message hang up you dirty ugly stupid motherfucker never on the internet on the internet it ain't nothing but hearts <laughs> anyway so Sierra gonna get into it with her mama and she about their little family drama. So I want to see what the tea is with that because her sister is out of control for doing for putting her on blast like that on the internet. I don't give a fuck what Sierra did. But anyway, um, that was it. So tell me what y'all think about the Yandy and MNDC stuff. Like I said, Yandy been fake. Chrissy should have drugged her ass a long time ago. Chrissy and Kimbella been exposed Yandy for being fake and Mendeecee's baby mamas been exposed exposed Yandy for being a fake ass bitch. I don't know why Mendeecee's just now realizing he married a fake ass bitch but I digress. The only thing ain't fake on her is them damn eyes and I thought those was fake for years too. <laughs> anyway uh, so i'm out y'all like i said comment make sure you subscribe make sure you share my channel for those of y'all who do be commenting and share my sharing my channel i appreciate it chaco bay i appreciate you for sharing my channel the other day i really do poo i'm subscribed to you so y'all go check out his uh channel when y'all get a chance make sure y'all subscribe to him and drop down in the comments tell me what new shows y'all watching if y'all want me to um review any new shows any new interviews i missed I was going to do the Jennifer Williams shit, but I don't know, child. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what's tea and what y'all want to talk about. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day, okay? Bye, boo.